Guys, it's Jenkins here, bringing you another Boomage video. In today's video, guys, we're going to go over backfilling some of the upgrades that we skipped early on to um, kind of optimize our tech tree choices. And uh, yeah, so let's, uh, let's just show you guys where we're at. Um, now, we still haven't hit five engines yet. And honestly, the reason for that is I'm just, my base simply is not ready for it uh, as of right now. So what I'm doing is I'm going back. And I'm focusing on some key defenses that we skipped in the beginning. Now, you'll see right here, I've already maxed out uh, the cannons. And on this note, I picked the sniper towers. Essentially, I mean, it doesn't make a huge difference when you're when you're at the unlock nodes and you're making your selection. But you want to pick something that's going to be able to pick off bombardiers. Because bombardiers are going to be the meta for the rest of the season. We already know that, right? That's not changing. That's not any different. Um, so we want to be able to pick something that's going to be able to target bombers. And... I felt like two defenses that could do that over the mortar, probably the best bet. So next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save up keys and I'm probably going to get flamethrowers and max them out. I don't think I'll spend keys on this unlock node because it's honestly not that much value. The keys are going to be better spent elsewhere. So what a lot of people that are past five engines are doing is they're doing the same thing. They're going back and they're backfilling and it's usually starting with the rocket launcher. So the rockets are going to be a key. Um unlock to get but you don't necessarily need them if you're already ready to go to five ERs and you have most of your defense the problem with my base i mean before i had the cannons unlocked and i talked about this in the last video too i simply lacked buildings so it didn't matter how great my base was how great the the mine placement was people were running through the base quickly just because i didn't have a lot of defenses so i needed to fill in that space uh with cannons and it's helped a little bit. So you see right there, I got a, f uh, a few more victories. We actually had on a little bit of a win streak. Um, so we're going to try to keep that going. And uh, yeah, hopefully these upgrade choices have, have helped us um, throughout this. So here we go. So for these bases, I like to go 2-2. Two, two. So we'll go heavy, heavy, bomber, bomber. And then we'll do the same thing here. Heavy, bomber, uh, heavy. And I'm actually going to save the last boat of bombers. Uh, until they clear out that left side so I don't have everyone going towards the left because I don't need them to right now. Um, so let's go critters here, critters here. And we can even go critters way over here because I don't really need the barrage for anything. Um, I might try to take out that shock blaster with it. but Okay, so now we can put out bullet and this boat of bombers. And we're going to go 1-2. <clears throat> and we should get the next barrage here in a second. 1-2-3. Should just about take down the shock blaster. It's going to be very close. Oof. Okay, we're going to need four on that. All right, so we got the bombers uh, coming up this way. There we go. He's right on that shock blaster already, which is nice. Um, next, we'll go with a shock knuckles. Hopefully, he hits it before that shock launcher comes. Very good. Okay, we got everyone up on those engines. And um, let's go like this. And we got all of our shocks left still. Now, some of those bombers wrapped around the left a little bit too quickly, and I'm only left with one on this side, which is not going to be fast enough to take down the engines and everything we need there. So we're going to get hurt a little bit on this, but uh, uh, we'll see how this goes. So let's go with a shock here. And hopefully we can get a knuckles off in time. If we can get a knuckles off, I'm just going to flare straight on that engine. So let's go like this now. There we go. Let's flare this guy. And let's throw a barrage on him as well. The, the bombers from the other side have already caught up. Ooh, this is going to be tough. 214. But he still has two engines left, so we might be okay. Let's see how he's doing. 211. Nice, nice. We got the victory. So, you know, it just makes a difference just purely having more buildings. It just makes them take a longer time to get through your base. Um, but, yeah, honestly, it's been, a, it's been a grind. It's been a grind, man. It's been, uh, you know... Because, like we talked about the other day, uh, in, the, in the last video, five engines is essentially the next effect of tech. And we're not ready to go there yet, because um, I'm just going to be basically where I'm at right now, going against five engine room bases. And that's not going to be that's not going to be a good sight. It's not going to be um, beneficial for us to do that. So, um, let's go like this. One, two, one, two. And we'll go bully. And one, two over there, something like that. Uh, okay, so let's knock out some critter boxes. Looking okay. And, 
Okay, Bolt's in a good spot. Let's hit a sh early shock knocks with him. One, two, three. You gotta be careful with these barrages because four barrage will take out four engines at four engines, but they have to be perfectly placed. And it's very easy to miss that, is what I'm finding. Uh, okay, let's go critters here. It's gonna take us a second longer to take out um, some of the stuff over here, but that's okay. Because as long as we get, you know, it doesn't matter how quickly we take down the first one, it matters how quickly we take down the last one. So, if we gotta spend a little bit more gunboat energy to get there, that's okay. I'm going to shock that so it doesn't kill any more of my bombers. Um, okay, and from here we're pretty well good to just free clear even though we don't have a bullet anymore. Um, oh, we actually have a heavy down here. Interesting. Uh, he might be enough himself to take down the last little splash of engine room health, which is huge. <laughs> that actually helped us out a lot. Uh, okay, so let's go. Let's go critters on all these mines. Might be too late, might be too late. They might just pop them and hurt the hurt the bombers. Okay, now that it's just a flamethrower, we can just go right over top of that. Uh, it doesn't matter what we spend our GBE on. Opponent has retreated! What? What? With three engines left? Man, I was getting smoked at, like, uh, this range, basically, before. So, uh, this is good. It's a good sign. Let's just keep this rock and rolling, clucking and ducking, guys. It's important to go and backfill some of those defenses. If you're in the same position chicken is. If not, you might be okay just doing what you're doing. Um, okay, so let's go. One, two, one, two. Then we'll go. I'm going to delay drop them a little bit. We'll go one, 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 two, three. And we're going to go critters, critters. And now we're just going to work away on this one. One, two. One, two. There we go. Okay. Looking good. Let's get a shock knuckles off. One, two, three. Hmm. This is going to be tough. I don't know if number four is going to take that down. I don't think it is. It's going to take five barrage to take down that engine room, which doesn't make sense. <coughs> you should be able to do it in four. Every single time, but... Uh, I guess it depends on building health as well, because we're, we're seeing some guys now that are a little bit higher up in the tech tree, uh, so maybe that's playing a little bit of uh, a part of it. We could probably take that down with critters, I think. Uh, should we test the chicken's theory? We'll throw them, try to throw them in the back corner, and now let's just work away on this stuff. Shock right there. There we go. Come on. Boom. There we go. Nice. Okay. That's looking better. Uh, let's go like this. More critters. Take out some of those mines. Ooh, I need to upgrade those critters. They are pretty weak. Uh, okay, let's go like this. Always flare on the furthest engine room first. And then flare on the, the one that's closest. We got a ton of bombers left. And there we go. Boom. 225. Nice. It's working. It's working, guys. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> that's the order I would backfill them in. I mean, if you uh, if you did really well and you, and you pushed and you got a lot of chests, um, then maybe it's... Uh, ooh, this is going to be close. Is it? Is it going to be close? Or he's got to walk all the way around. If he's got to walk all the way around, we're fine. What did we get? 218 there? It wasn't a great time. Um, but yeah, it looks like we should be able to push up to, uh, to rank 20-ish without any issues. I didn't know how big of a difference this was going to make, but uh, it, it seems pretty significant because I was playing at rank 18 uh earlier this morning and it was just win loss win loss win loss 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 back to 17 then back up so um so yeah i would say this this was the biggest difference in uh my base where i was at i'm assuming most people aren't that far off where the chicken was like maybe um you had a few more defenses or a few less but it's important to go and backfill those ones that we talked about before going to five engines so um yeah, I think uh, I think that's basically it. So let's see what we got here. Boom, 225. That was close though. He 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 made like a little bit of a mistake with the barrage, and uh, it could have gone either way. So so yeah, we're making progress, guys. We're uh, getting close to to 19. Hopefully we can get there. Hopefully that helped you out. Uh, let me know down below in the comments. 
uh, where you're at. And um, if you think, I guess let me know in the comments, do you think it's important to go back in backfill before going to five inches? Or if you're the mindset of just getting to five inches as quickly as possible is uh, is the idea. You know, it really depends on what you have unlocked and upgraded at the time. But, uh, but yeah, let me know that down in the comments, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. That is going to wrap up the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you next one, guys. Check it out. Bear, bear.